Good day sir, I am Princess Pakulba with my partner Ervin Paglinawan and we're going to report our topic about gender role. So what is gender role? Gender role is a set of behavioral norms associated particularly with males or females in a given social group or system, often including the division of labor between men and women and in the attendant complex of child rearing socialization processes leading you towards maturing to perpetuate the same pattern. Gender-based roles coincident with sex-based roles have been the norm in many traditional societies, with the specific components and workings of the gender sex system or role division varying markedly from society to society. Gender role is a focus of analysis in the social sciences and humanities. Keyword for gender role Gender role is a set of societal norms dictating the type of behaviors which are generally considered acceptable, appropriate, desirable for people based on their actual or perceived sex or sexuality. A person's gender role comprises several elements that can be expressed through clothing, behavior, occupation, personal relationships, and other factors. These elements are not fixed and have changed through time. Gender roles traditionally were often divided into distinct feminine and masculine gender roles until especially the 20th century when these roles diversified into many different acceptable male or female roles in modernized countries throughout the world. Thus, in many modern societies, one biological gender no longer determines the functions that an individual can perform allowing greater freedom and opportunity for all people to achieve their individual potential and offer their talents and abilities to society for benefit of all. Gender roles influence a wide range of human behavior, often including the clothing of a person chooses to wear, the profession a person pursues, the personal relationship of a person enters, and how they behave within those relationships. Although gender roles have evolved and expanded, they have traditionally keep women in the private sphere and men in the public sphere. Gender roles are usually centered on conceptions of masculinity and femininity, although there are exceptions and variations. Example of gender stereotypes Girls should play with dolls and boys should play with drugs. Boys should be directed to like blue and green, while girls towards red and pink. Boys should not wear dresses and other clothes typically associated with girls' clothes. Theories of gender role Here are some theories about gender role. Gender roles have long been a staple of the nature versus nature debate. Traditional theories assume that one's gender identity and hence one's gender roles is a natural given. The idea that differences in gender roles originate in differences in biology has found support in parts of the scientific community. 19th century anthropology sometimes used descriptions of the imagined life of paleolithic hunter-gatherers societies for evolutionary explanations of gender differences. For example, those accounts maintain that the need to take care of offspring may have limited the female's freedom to hunt and assume positions of power. Due to the influence of Simone de Bibor's feminist works and Michel Foucault's reflections on sexuality, the idea that gender was unrelated to sex gained ground during the 1980s, especially in sociology and cultural anthropology. This view argues that the person could be born with male genitals but still be of feminine gender. In 1987, R.W. Connell did extensive research on whether there are any connections between biology and gender role and concluded that there are none. Most scientists reject Connell's research because they concrete evidence exists proving the effect of hormones on behavior. However, hormones levels vary and disorders can cause intersex status. Simon Baron Cohen, a Cambridge University professor of psychology and psychiatry, has said that the female brain is predominantly hardwired for empathy, while the male brain is predominantly hardwired for understanding and building systems. Real-world cases such as David Ramirez, to whom John Money 
unsuccessfully reassigned female gender show that raising a child is a cross-sex role do not cause the child to necessarily adapt to that role. The trend in Western societies toward men and women sharing similar occupations and responsibilities demonstrates the adaptability of both men and women to perform a variety of tasks. While there are differences in average capabilities of various kinds such as physical strengths between the sexes, the capabilities of some members of one sex will fall within the range of capabilities needed for tasks conventionally assigned for the other sex. Socialization. What is socialization? The process through which individual learns and accepts roles is called socialization. Socialization works by encouraging wanted and discouraging unwanted behavior. These sanctions by agencies of socialization such as the family, schools, and communication medium make it clear to the child what behavioral norms the child is expected to follow. The examples of the child's parents, siblings, and teachers are typically followed. Keyword for socialization. Socialization is the process of internalizing the norms and ideologies of society. Mostly, accepted behavior is not produced by a reforming coercion applied by an accepted social system. Although various forms of coercion have been used through history to force the acquisition of a desired response or function. In the majority of the traditional and development social systems, an individual has a choice as to what extent he or she becomes a confirmed representative of a socialization process. In this voluntary process, the consequences can be beneficial or malfunctional, minor or severe for every case by a behavior's socialization influence forming gender roles or expectations, institutionalizing gender differences. Here is an example of picture of a changing norms of socialization. Louis VII, wearing the customary baby clothes of the time, would be considered cross-dressed in the 21st century. Typical encouragements and expectations of gender role behavior are not as powerful a difference and reforming social traits as a century ago. However, such developments and traditional refineries are still a socialization process to and within family values, peer pressures, at the employment centers, and in every social system communication medium. Still, once someone has accepted certain gender roles and gender differences as an expected socialized behavior norms, these behavior traits become part of the individual responsibilities. Sanctions to unwanted behavior and role conflict can be stressful. The flux in gender roles in modern societies plays against the biological governance of the woman as the bearer of the child and is one of the factors contributing to the low rates of births in countries ranging from Germany to Japan. Within the family in modern societies, there remains considerable flux, reflecting the continued confusion about such lifestyles, issues as marriage partners, sexual love, and the structure of the families. Establishing stable, peaceful, and happy societies in the 21st century will require new thinking about gender roles that accord priority to the family raising up balanced children benefiting from both the masculine and feminine strengths of their parents. During the World War II, women fell job position, some of which would otherwise be male-dominated. In many other cases, the elements of convention or tradition seems to play a dominant role in deciding which occupations fit under which gender rules. In the United States, physicians have traditionally been men, and the few people who define the expectation receive a special job discrimination. Also, all throughout history, some jobs have been typically male or female have switched genders. For example, clerical jobs used to be considered man's job, and when several women began filling men's job position due to World War II, clerical jobs quickly became dominated by women. It became more feminized, and women workers became known as typists or secretaries. There are many other jobs that have switched gender roles, and many jobs continually involving as far as being dominated by women or men. 
It should be noted that some societies are comparatively rigid in their expectations and other societies are comparatively permissive. Some of the gender si signals that forms part of the gender rule and indicates one's gender identity to the other are quite obvious, and others are subtle that are transmitted and received beyond ordinary conscious awareness. Gender Rules and Feminism Most feminists have argued that traditional gender rules are oppressive for women. They believe that the female gender rule was constructed as an opposite to ide ideal male rule and helps to perpetuate patriarchy. Furthermore, there, are, there has been a perception of Western culture in recent times that the female gender rule is dichotomized into other being, a stay-home mother or a career woman. In reality, women usually face double burden. The need to balance occupation and child care deprives women in spare time, whereas the majority of men with university education have a career as well as family. Only 50% of academic women have children. Homosexuality and gender rules. Traditional gender rules include male attraction to females or vice versa. Homosexual, lesbian, and bisexual people all usually do not conform to this expectation. Same-sex domestic partners also challenge traditional gender rules because it is impossible to divide up households' responsibilities along gender lines if both partners attempt to fill the same gender rule. Like all li live in couples, same-sex partners usually do not come to some arrangement with regard to household responsibilities. Sometimes, these arrangements assign traditional female responsibilities to other partner and traditional male responsibilities to other, but non-traditional division of labor are also quite common. Cross-dressing is also common in gay and lesbian culture, but it is usually restricted to festive occasions, though there are people of all sexual orientation who routinely engage in various types of cross-dressing either a fashion statement or for entertainment. Distinctive styles of dress, however, are commonly seen in gay and lesbian circles. These are fashion sometimes emulate the tradi traditional styles of opposite gender. Types of gender rules. Gender rules are a specific set of social and behavioral action which considered to be appropriate for the given gender. The concept of gender rules have been developed from the work of Caroline Mosser. She explains these concepts as follows. Gender planning recognizes that in most societies, low-income women have a triple rule. Women undertake reproductive, productive, and community managing activities while men primarily undertake productive and commonly politics activities.